more than a healing factor, you know. Get ready to check out my amazing tracking ability. I once wandered the sewers under the Hellfire Club's New York building for hours. This'll be a piece of cake. Really curious to see what the Red Skull's so interested in down there. I gotta say, if this whole chase turns out to be scary, According to the map, the way into these tunnels is in a ravine at the base of the mountain. We can bring you right up to the entrance. Beautiful. I can take it from there. I'll have you know I'm indulging your desire to follow this map. Don't say I never gave you anything. After this, I won't even expect a card from you on my birthday. Be. It seems we have been walking in circles for hours. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Relax. We're close. You said that after your last sniff. And I was right. Seen better. Ambush. This is a slaughter. No kidding. They were trying to get inside that vault. I don't believe in coincidences. Which means. Project Gutermorder. I bet my life on it. So did they. Guess Hydra just dropped a rung or two on the bad guy food chain. Maybe so. Still. This Lillian feels different somehow. Feral. You sniff that out. We can debate the hows and whys later. Get that vault open before more of these things show up. Too late for that. That thing it smells like it died, then crawled through hot garbage. That is one way of describing it. I'd be more concerned with how it fights, not how it smells. Easy for you to say. It's not breathing down your neck. Getting better after all these years. Let's settle this. I'm impressed.
reinforcements here. Still want a piece? I haven't seen that kind of Hydra regalia since the war. Old Johan was probably hoping to hide out here if things went south. I guess he didn't make it. We have our hands full as it is without having to worry about Red Skull too. that place sealed up tight. So where are those things coming from? The way they move, these Lilin may have come from beyond our world. Walls are no obstacle to them. Just when I thought I had smelled it all. Shall be of great help. Move. Dibs on the ugly one. 
Things aren't that tough. You're the man with the power. Every little bit helps. They're ready. Leave some for the rest of us. Watch my back. Now that was something. the light. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Time to see if Red Skull really did hide his ultimate weapon here. something out or die trying. You sure know how to rally the troops, Logan. Now oh, that was something. Possibly match your strength.
Chosen me to finish this. Dangerous game of cat and mouse. Not so enjoyable when you are the prey, is it, Hunter? At least we are still in the hunt. You have already been consumed. serve Lilith in return for this gift. Enough of that! No more! Some doomsday prophecy or ancient evil with you guys. Almost makes me miss Magneto. I'm watching. You don't want to get up.
Shoulder protects me. You will Kind of air support or evac on the way. That would be too easy. You'll leave when Mother says so. Chance. That ain't a chance, kid. It's a monster. So come on, ugly. Let's finish this. Finish this, Logan. <laughs> yes, I will. Hunter, come to the forge when you can. It's urgent. Hello, my sweet girl. Okay, cut the bull, Stark. I know you've got some kind of Hulkbuster up your sleeve. Let's have it. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have some Hulkbuster armor back in one of my warehouses, but it's only a stopgap, not a solution. Especially with the Hulk in his current state. So a smart guy like you never bothered to come up with a fail-safe in case the green chunk ever went psycho? We found the most effective way to control Hulk was Banner himself. There is no better fail-safe. And now that Banner's gone screwy? Nothing? No plan for when things got really tough? There are always plans, Logan. Sending him off-world, perhaps? Outer space? That's really the best you could come up with? I don't see you coming up with anything better. I'm raising the warning now. When the time comes and we don't have an easy solution, I'm ready to take the hard path. And you'd better be prepared to follow me. The occult emanations coming from this god killer are unlike anything I have ever encountered. When I gripped it, I saw a face. The face of Cthon. Mm, yes, I suspected as much. The darkness I sense here is beyond the realm of mortals. It's no surprise Red Skull was seeking that level of power. This is more than just an artifact. But whatever it is could represent a change in the direction of our battle against Lilith. And perhaps we should not study it anymore. Maybe we should find another vault beneath the earth and bury it there. Safe from everyone and everything. I admire your sense of protection for humanity. They have no idea how to react to the forces we are currently dealing with. Power like this will never allow itself to be tossed away. It will be found one way or another. I think the safest option is to keep it here in the forge for a bit longer, at least until I've had a chance to study it more. 
I don't think anyone should handle it until we know what it is for sure. Very well. And how long do you think that will take? Well, I think the world will be ending soon, so... hopefully before that. I need to consult my grimoires. Check back with me when you can. When I woke up this morning, the Red Skull was the furthest thing from my mind. Yet now it seems he's a key player, even from beyond the grave. In my experience, the grave is but a way station, not a destination. Every time I think I've got my mind wrapped around this conflict, I get thrown a curveball. Oh, finding that artifact beneath Mount Wondegore destabilized me as well. Here's hoping Strange can figure out what exactly this god killer is. If the Red Skull had it, then it's nothing good, I'm sure. Earlier, you mentioned the Red Skull was drawn to the occult. Like a fly to a rotting carcass. How much do you know about World War II? I did not realize there was a World War I. I'll just sum it up. Red Skull was a man whose ambition knew no limits. And when our world didn't give him enough, he looked beyond it for even more power. A very dangerous man indeed. And we're all safer that he's no longer among the living. I think the world is safer because you are here protecting it, not because this red skull is gone. I'm just one man, Hunter. It's all of us together that keeps the world safe. That includes you, Tony, Caretaker. Even the ghosts around here do their part. I wonder how the red skull came to share my mother's obsession with Cthon anyway. Oh, I'm sure he tried to find your mother to help him. All part of his Project Gutmortar. My mother never would have allowed him to share her power. Well, I don't think he got that blade just to put it under glass, if you know what I mean. He planned to use it, all right. Now we just need to figure out why Crossbones wanted me to have it. Whatever the Red Skull wanted with that weapon, it wasn't good. What is this about the God Killer? The hilt? It looks a lot like the metal your collar is forged from. Or Chalcum. How can that be? I'm not sure it is. It's just a hunch. Strange should examine it. See if my hunch is right. Because if it is, the God Killer might be our best shot at taking my sister's life, putting an end to all this madness. Is that not what we all want? An end to this? There's only 2.5 members of the blood left in all creation, Hunter. If we... when we defeat her, my only sister will be dead, and our kind will be nearly extinct. I know this is hard, Sarah. But life as we know it will become extinct if we do not take hers. I'm just sorry that the burden keeps falling to you. You must kill your own mother again. That must be incredibly difficult for you. It is just my destiny. A tragic destiny. A tragic for me, but a happily ever after scenario for everyone else. And that is all that matters. Uh, I fear sometimes I raised you to be too self-sacrificing. You raised me to fight for the greater good. <sighs> Perhaps we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves too much. We're not even sure the handle of that blade is made of orichalcum. Strange will find out. Make sure he does. What's troubling you, Sarah? The hilt of the God Killer. It looks familiar. What do you mean? I don't know how to say this. But it looks like it's made of the same material as Hunter's collar. The same material? Sarah, the collar we created is made of orichalcum, the metal of Atlantis. I know. It sounds crazy. Have Strange examine the thing. Because if it is, Sarah... I know, Agatha. 
I'll see what I can do. Hunter, hello. Did I ever tell you about the time the Hulk tore me in half? This sounds like a story I cannot pass up. I was in the path of a Category 5 Hulk smash storm. Big Green pulled me apart like it was wing night at his favorite pub, and I was the chicken. Well, that sounds absolutely horrible. Then Hulk threw my legs, four miles away from the rest of me. What? Up a snow-covered mountain. Had to claw my way to him. How did you survive? That lovely, forceful bisection put my healing factor to the test. Had to find my legs by their scent. My scent, if you catch my drift. As long as Lilith controls the Hulk, we are at a disadvantage. Yep, and we're sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. The Hulk's rampage must be stopped. My advice? Leave the Hulk busting to the better reinforced. Besides, I reckon the Midnight Suns need you for a different fight. Well, no matter what, we are sorely lacking in the Hulk killer department. Anytime someone wants my opinion, it means we're really screwed. Remind me not to brainstorm with you anymore. Makes sense. I'm more of a claws out kind of guy. Anyway, glad you enjoyed our little Hulk survivors group. We'll meet again if we survive him next time. After seeing Banner's soul twisted under Lilith's control, I see why Bruce used to doubt himself so much. He mistrusts the green brute because deep inside, Banner doesn't trust himself. Another thing he and I have in common. There is still hope for Banner. Yes, there is always hope. But do you think it's possible I'll ever see Bruce Banner in the same way ever again? You know that was not Banner, right? Same as it was not you, Wanda Maximoff, who devastated the Sanctum Sanctorum. Point taken, Hunter. I owe Bruce the same kindness I've been shown here at the Abbey. I do believe I can forgive him. Forgetting, however... You are not alone, Wanda. When the time comes, we will face your demons. Our demons. Together. Thank you, Hunter. That gives me some strength. Ready when you are. Back again. Cops 
instant innovation. That's the Stark promise. No pain, no gain. You are going to love this. What have you got for me, boss? You brought me the good stuff. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Good day, Hunter. Time to take it to the next level. New and improved. I think we've got something for everyone. Let's see him try to handle me now. As requested. Looks good to me. See you soon.